If you can't be a highway, be a trail. If you can't be a sun, be a star. It isn't my sight that we win or fail. Be the best at whatever you are. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. But out of this world we find that success begins in a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think how to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battle doesn't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Or the woman who thinks she can. All right, good morning again, everyone. Uh, my name is Bill Eccles, and um, I'd like to thank uh, Principal um, Smith for that wonderful introduction. I have 12 years of counseling experience here in Wake County, um, and currently I serve in the position of um, professional learning specialist. And the way that I describe that role to most people is that I am a teacher of teachers. So um, as we get started today, you've got a, a wonderful outline um, tons of helpful information for you all that are transitioning your students and the students who are transitioning into this wonderful ninth grade center. Uh, but, but before we get started, I want to make sure that you all are on your toes and ready to receive all the wonderful information for today. So I'm going to give you all a quick, some quick instructions and just follow my lead. So the first thing I'm going I'm to say is I'm going to count to two. I'm going to say on two, and then I'm going to count to two, and then you all clap twice. Okay, so it'll sound like on two, one, two, clap, clap. Got it? Does that make sense? All right, let's give it a try. On two, one, two. On two, one, two. On two, one, two. Perfect. Now, this destination in 2021 may be um, short lived. This is the advanced group, so you all may be graduating in 2020. <laughs> All right, so three things that I want to share with you all today. One is your destination to 2021. Um, next is your um, getting your tune-up, things that you will need to do along your way while you're on your journey. And the third thing is talk a little bit about your roadside assistance, and those are the amazing people in your life that are going to help you reach destination 2021. So what does destination 2021 look like? Well, first of all, it will look like a diploma. Eric, that is the end goal. Another goal for destination for 2021, what it will look like, is that you all will be college and career ready. Now, what that means, once you get to that destination, what you do with your college readiness and your degree is going to be up to you. But there is staff members here. You have a wonderful group of people that are helping you along the way to make sure that whatever that journey looks like for each of you, that you reach that goal successfully. Now, along the way, you will come up with uh, pitfalls, there will be potholes, there will be um, emergency exits, there will be accidents, there will be traffic jams, there will be tons of things along the way while you are on your journey to 2021 that are going to try to hinder you from reaching that goal. That is why you have this roadside assistance. And those are people like your parents and guardians, your siblings, your peers, your teachers, your administrators, your school counselors, those are the people who are your roadside assistants. Now, the important thing for you to remember is to not give up. There will be plenty of times that you'll need to make emergency exits, and you may even need to shift your gears and kind of slow down or speed up, adjusting to whatever you may be dealing with. But the important thing to remember is for you all to not give up. So there are five pieces of information now it was a very long time ago when I was in high school, but I feel like some of the rules still apply. And also I was a school counselor at eighth grade, so I helped with the transition for many ninth graders. So here are five pieces of advice for the students that I feel like will be very helpful for you on your journey to 2021. The first is to flatter your teachers. <laughs> teachers live off of compliments and caffeine. And so making sure, and not just not just flattering for the sake of trying to um, trying to slot another grade in there, but let the teachers know that you're paying attention. Let them know that you care about your education. Let them know that you value their efforts in trying to help you reach your goal. Let, let them know that you value their roadside assistance. Right. The second piece of advice is that there are no there is no destination worth going that you have to take shortcuts for. And what that means is. There will be plenty along this road, there will be plenty of opportunities where you will get frustrated with how fast you're going, with the traffic jams, with the flat tires, 
but there's no reason to try to cheat your way through an education, right? Everywhere that you need to go, you can get without taking shortcuts in life. So that is the second piece of advice. The third piece is, is connected to your grade point average, all right? It is much easier to start off with a high grade point average and maintain it than to start off with a low grade point average and try to boost it up, all right? It'll be much easier for you to start how you want to finish. So that's very important for you all to remember to put your best foot forward as you are starting this destination um, in the ninth grade center. All right, the fourth piece of advice I have for you is to get involved. Now is the perfect time for you all to join clubs, to um, get connected with extracurricular activities, have the courage to introduce yourselves to um, new people. A lot, many of you have known each other, a lot of the students, you've known each other since you were in elementary school. You've known each other since you were in middle school, you have kind of clicks, and you're connected with a network. Some of you are here from out of state, some of you have transferred to the school, this is the first time that you will kind of be immersed in this group of students. So I just encourage you to get involved, meet new people, and I'm not saying that you have to surround yourself with people constantly. I mean, it's all right for you to kind of do your own thing every now and then, but now is the perfect time for you to introduce yourself to people at lunch, um, get to know different circles of people, and try new things um, in, in reference to extracurricular activities and clubs that the school may offer. Last but not least, number five. This one is very important. There are seven billion people in the world, over seven billion people in the world, and there's something that each of you can do that when you're doing this thing that no one else on the planet is capable of doing, and that is to be yourself. When you're being your authentic self, you're doing something that no one else can do, right? Other people may wear the same shoes as you, someone else may try to wear their hair as you, they may talk like you, they may try to dress like you, but when you're being yourself, you're doing something that no one else is doing. There's a quote by Dr. Seuss that says, today you are you, that's truer than true. There's no one alive who is youer than you. And it's true. When you're being yourself, you're doing something. When you're not being yourself, you are selling the world short of um, the gift. From the beginning of humanity until the end of mankind, there will never be another you on the planet. And that's, that's priceless, right? So one piece of advice for parents, just one. I mean, I could stand up here all day and give you a long list, but the sessions will give you more information. But the one piece of advice for parents is to make, take time to talk to your students about their school day and their education. All right? December's too late. May is too late. You need to start in August and September asking your students how their day was. Tell me a little bit about your school. And be careful how you ask, because sometimes you may say, well, how was your day? And then you get the one word answer of good, bad, or man, and that's failed to engage, right? So <laughs> make sure that you're asking them to tell you a little bit about your day and staying connected to the things that are going on with your students um, in the building, all right? So yesterday, um, this is the second time that I've had the chance to speak to the student body. And yesterday I shared the story about um, my first girlfriend. It was when I was transitioning from eighth to ninth grade. And I told the story of how it was the longest three days of my entire life. <laughs> so I felt like no one really cared how traumatic that was. So I'm not gonna share that story today. But I will share uh, another story that does tie into decision making. And the decisions that you all make from this point forward, well, I mean, even before right now, but the decisions that you all make turn the pages of your life. When I was, when I was in high school, I was 16 years old, and um, I had one of my best friends. As long as I knew that I was alive, I knew this person. That just tells you how far we go back. So my friend, we were, um, we were at the mall. He, had, he went to a different high school. He had a whole different group of friends that he hung with that I didn't really know. Uh, but since I knew him, I felt comfortable going with him and his crew to the mall. So my parents had given me um, enough money to get something to eat. I maybe had like $10, $15 in my pocket, but that was enough just in case I needed to chip in on gas or, um, or to get some food, right? But not enough to kind of shop or, or go around the mall. So one of the guys that my friend knew, um, he had this idea to go into one of the department stores and to steal a shirt. 
back in the day it was um, like Tommy Hilfiger, these public shirts. They were they were probably around the same price that <laughs> shirts would be today, somewhere around like 50 bucks, right? So I definitely didn't have enough money to buy a shirt. But since he had this kind of foolproof plan, I thought, well, I want a shirt. I'll go with him. I'll get one myself. So we go into this department store. We roll up on the men's department. It's a sea of shirts, right? All different colors. So the guy, we'll call him Steve. I don't want to use his real name. So Steve takes one of these shirts and stuffs it in his pants. So I'm thinking, all right, let me grab one. So I still, I, I'll never forget it. The shirt was forest green, right? It was one of my favorite colors at the time. So I took the shirt and I stuffed it in my pants too. He goes, he grabs another shirt. Well, this time I'm thinking to myself, something doesn't feel right, like and it's not the shirt that's stuck in my hand. But it was this gut feeling um, that was saying something isn't right, right? And at that moment, it seemed like time froze. I looked around the store. I didn't see anyone. There was no um, sales associates. There was no customers. The only people that I could see was me and Steve. And it was one of the times in my life that I realized the next, the decision that I was about to make, I realized that I was at a fork in the road. The decision that I was about to make was going to either positively or negatively impact my trajectory the rest of my life. So at that moment, I told him, I said, you know what? I said, this isn't right. We need to go. I may have said something else, but that's just a summary for what I said. So I took that shirt, and that moment, he actually grabbed another shirt. He was going to end up getting three shirts. He got greedy. So I put my shirt back, and I decided to leave the store. So as soon as I left, I was walking out of the store, and I saw the other guys that I had come to the store with, my best friend and his crew. And as soon as I exited out of the store, I noticed the guys were looking at me, but it, it was like they weren't even looking at me. It was like they were looking through me. As soon as I turned around, I saw the guy, Steve, that I was in the store with, and he was surrounded by police officers. And it was, again, that was one of the first times in my life that I recognized that the decisions that we make, that you come to the fork in the road, every decision we make, it leads you to another fork. You make a decision based on the best information you have in front of you, that leads you to another fork, and so forth, and so forth. Every decision that you all have made so far, parents included, has brought you to where you are today. All, right? all we can do is make the best decision for um, the next step in, the, in our future. All right? So, in closing, uh, I just want to share three more tips. And um, Well, no, before I share those three tips, uh, one more story according to the fork in the road. So um, there's a poet named Robert Frost, and it's one of my favorite, my father's favorite poets. And he has this poem called The Road Not Taken. And in that fork, the, a, a traveler comes to the point of decision. He comes to the fork in the road. And there's a path that you can tell that many people have gone down. The, the, the street is trodden black. You can tell many people have traveled this road. But there's another road that doesn't have many steps, and he knows that not many people have gone down this path. And in the end, he decides to take the road less traveled, and, and that makes all the difference in his life. So the people that you include on your journey, on your destination in 2021, will either hinder you or help you get to where you need to go. And I know I said, now is the time to get involved and surround yourself um, with lots of different people, but you really do have to be careful about the people that you're surrounding yourself with and making the best decisions for yourself, right? So, remember the decisions of your life, turn the pages, um, turn the pages of your future. Remember to get your tune-up along the way from your roadside assistance, and each day is a new opportunity for you all to become better. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day and an amazing school day.